Did you know that summer is one of the best times of the years to sell so many products on Etsy? In fact, some of the products sell better in the summer than they do during the holidays. And that is because some of these products are emotionally charged. Summer is a very exciting time of the year and there's nothing that makes you less logical about spending your money than being excited about something. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 summer products that you can sell on Etsy in 2023 that tap into that happiness. I have digital products, print on demand products, products, embroidery products, engraving products. There's something for everybody. Even if you don't have a machine, but you want to make something, there is a product that is crushing it during the summertime that you guys will absolutely love. Now, in the last video that I told you guys about on the things that you should sell at the start of 2023, I took my own advice and this is what happened to one of the products that I did take from my previous video and it's doing really well. And I'm super excited with these 10 products to share with you. And in fact, one of those products I'm actually going to start selling here pretty soon. And I'll disclose that at the end of the video. So if you are interested to see what, which of these products I'm going to sell now, I'm selling that product because it's appropriate for my Etsy shop and what I'm doing currently. But I think all of these have great potential like that just depends what the approach that you're going to take. So when you get your vacation booked and you are there, the date is set, you got your hotel or you got your resort. So that excitement will then take you to Etsy and buy the very first product I have for you. And that is personalized luggage tags. So personalized luggage tags are made in many different ways. You can engrave them, you can embroider them, you can sublimate them. The thing that I would do if I were to sell this product is there is not enough girly um, tags. A lot of these are leather, there are a lot of serious, but I would, this is kind of getting the idea, but it's kind of cheesy a little bit, but I would get a little bit more for like kids' luggages. I would really take that approach if I were to take this luggage tags, I would take, the kids luggage I would do like th these people are doing pretty well because it seems like they're getting some cause some of that playful uh, uh, style, but I would get some florals. I would get maybe some rocket uh, sub maybe sublimation would be a great approach to get these kind of features out. Now the next product I have for you doesn't require any equipment. Like, you don't need an expensive laser or embroider machine. This is something that anybody can do. You just have to have the main product of it, which is, personalized kids sunglasses. This is actually taken off. One of the things that gets me excited, see this store right here or this product right here? Look at that, they only have 10 sales, but those 10 sales came from this store, uh, this product. And so now when you click on this, several things. They have several different products, none of them took off. Guess what, the only product is taken off and it's this one and they just posted this product. Now the approach that I would take with this one is because when people are excited for the summer, they got a vacation booked and they're really excited to take their kids to Disneyland or Disney World, they're like, you're gonna get decked out for our holiday because Instagram is gonna be full of photos and we want you to look really good. And I think that is the selling ticket. I think there should be a lot more photos of kids. So if we cl click on this photos, there's just no kids, there's no models, there's no Instagram-like photos. And that's the approach I would take with this product is I would make it very Instagram-like, very, you know, something that you would want your kid to look like when you are posting Instagram photos. Now, this might require some money for inventory, but the next product is zero inventory. It costs you nothing to make, so it's just a no-brainer. If you are selling digital products, and it is a digital product, this is the something you need to add to your store because it sells the same amount during the holidays as it does during the summertime. So, and the product is digital planners that's right and you might have known this but this is a big deal and what i would do with this one what approach i would take with this one is make the thumbnail look something like summer look like something like you're getting ready for summer so something that is not just a plain uh planner but has a little bit more of color to it but also has a little bit more of hints hey this is for your summer happening. Now the next product for you is much more profitable because it's a larger ticketed item yet it doesn't cost as much to make it if you have the right tools. And I believe you could probably do a print on demand version of this. I'm not sure. Comment on the bottom. Help out the community if there is a print on demand version for this product. And that is tapestry. That's right. Tapestry. Tapestry is one of those things that is largely popular during the summer times for several reasons. One being gender reveal parties for kids. So if you have those balloon arches and then you have the tapestry in the back, right? Mia, welcome here or whatever. That would be one of the approaches that I would take. But the other approaches I would take is actually kids world map. The approach for this more specifically, I would take it to make it more playful. A lot of times artists uh, or creative people, they do want a more of a minimalistic look, but the customers that buy things, they actually like very heavy pink or very heavy blue for the boys. That's surprisingly oftentimes 
the behavior of a customer. And I found this to be true because when parents buy something for their kids, they want their kids to be excited about the room. But if you're decorating your room as if you were to live in that room, you're not a kid anymore. And so oftentimes the buyer, um, you know, actually buys something with a little bit more color with a little bit more finesse. Now, if that scared you a little bit, you say, I don't have equipment that can do that, or I don't want to deal with those kind of items. Let's go back to digital products because it costs no money. Now, this one is a both a combination of emotional excitement for the summer and for the wedding. And those two combinations of emotions get people even more rallied up for the next product. And that is bachelorette party invitation. I think the approach I would take with this one is make several different types of listings. And with, with one of them, we'll start to rank more to the top. So the thumbnails, this is a bad thumbnail. I think digital products should not have this thumbnail. I think these people understand what this is all about and they have a much better um, understanding that the, the, the party, the bridal party will get this invitation and that's what they're going to see. So as a customer, you wanna see what your, your girls are gonna see when they receive their um, invitation or guys. The next product surprisingly is a very nice product to have all year round, but surprisingly during the summertime, it does really well. So if you want something non-seasonal and yet seasonal at the same time, the next product I have for you will be just right. And that is badge reels. Badge reels surprisingly do really well during the summertime. There are several speculations. I asked ChatGPD, I'm like, hey, why are people buying badge reels during the summer? He gave me some answers and I don't know if they're accurate, but one of the answers I know when I worked in the health field is a lot of the nurses during the summer times, they are traveling or they're doing a lot of stuff outside of work and they tend to lose their badges. And so they get a badge reel to just attach it to their freaking scrub so that it, they don't lose it. And that's a really big uh, reason that I found, at least when I worked there. And also during the summer times, teachers are kind of getting ready for the school season. So they are also getting on the summertime, which I assume that's going to be in the later parts of the summertime, but it's a great product to do. So there are many different approaches that I would take with this one. I definitely think your badge reel should have a lot of color to it. That's why people buy badge reels. Uh, instead of taking the ones that the, the hospital provides or the one that school provides because they want to pop, they want to stand out. So if you just make a basic one, you're not going to do well, but if you add color, more specifically, if you can add their, you know, their dog, they can take their dog to work and not take their dog to work at the same time, that's going to be a pretty good product. So I think this, these people got it right. I would definitely make this to be more like this photo or like this photo, I think it's a little cheesy. So if you, if, if I were to do this product, I would take this idea, but I would make it a little better on the thumbnail and I make it better on how it looks like. And I would maybe take some photos of the teacher, of the nurse, and so that they, they look, they see what they look like. I mean, look at this, the, the, the listing quality kind of sucks. It's just literally one type of, you know, photo of this, of this product. So it definitely needs to have the energy or the personal attachment. Now, if you're into vinyl, the next product you're going to love because it's a really nice one to do from your room if you have the setup for it. And that is glass coffee cups. This is a product that I mentioned last year that would sell really good during the summertime. And I was right. People love iced coffee during the summer ice drinks, they like to make their outdoor experience even better because some people really love their outdoor experience. So anything that could elevate that experience, you're gonna win in this space. What I would do with this one is I would definitely tap more into this greenery, maybe very minimal color, but let the coffee, let, uh, let the background do the work. I would also try some foil or some uh, you know gold or blush colors for the bridesmaids gift because there's two kind of two different approaches on this one it is to improve the patio experience or this could be part of a bridesmaids gift package so that's one approach i would take all right so the next one if you are into jewelry making and you want to take your jewelry making to the next level but not make jewelry at the same time it's almost like house jewelry and i say this year after year that this is highly underrated product it does take some time to make but they are selling like crazy and that is sun catchers sun catchers are a great one to sell. They are, they are used both for the house. If you do a bohemian style, they also use for the car. Sun catchers just bring the light into your home in a very unique way. And the videos for these products just make you wanna buy it, even if you didn't come to the Etsy to buy it. Now, the next product I have for you, you probably didn't know about it, and I didn't know about it. People are traveling. They wanna make their driving experience a lot better and that is car cup coasters. The, the bohemian style is really the style that is really popular. You just go ahead and put them in there, which I didn't know existed because the bottom of my coffee cups is disgusting. You do not want to look at it. And 
that is really cool. Now, I don't know how to do macrame. I, I would take the approach of sublimation because that would make more sense for me in terms of being able to do it or in grading. But people do that because they want to add color. A lot of these sell really well because if you're that kind of person that will know about these car coasters, you are that kind of person that wants to spice up their car experience. Now, the last one is also really cheap on shipping. It costs almost nothing on shipping and you can make a good margin on these products. They don't cost you that much to make and that is mirror decals. So there are several reasons why people buy these. The first biggest one is wedding welcome sign. It's actually a style that people use is this mirror style wedding welcome sign. The other things people use it is for rear view mirror on the car decal. So if it's like things appear closer than they are and it's like some funny quote uh, or, or on the rear view mirror for uh, for the rear view, I guess those are not rear view mirrors, they're side mirrors, but the rear view mirror, they'll do quotes. And the other one people do a lot of is affirmation quotes or affirmation, like you are beautiful, you are amazing, whatever your affirmation is, that's what it oftentimes used for. And these are really popular during the summertime. All right, so the one that I'm going to sell here pretty soon is luggage tags. I'm gonna use luggage tags because there are different ways that I can do luggage tags. I'm going to try to sublimate, engrave, and embroider many different ways. That's something that I can do as a seller. And I think one of those is going to pop off more than the other. I don't know which one exactly. That's the approach I'm gonna take. I'm definitely going to, on the sublimation, on, on the embroidery one, approach with the uh, colorful style for the kids. I think that's something that's missing. I do have a store that sells kids stuff and I think that would work really well on that store. I think all of these products are going to sell really well. It just depends the approach that you're gonna take. And in fact, if you don't take these products and don't try out new products, you are going to make the mistake that I talk about in this video that a lot of Etsy shop owners make year after year. So make sure to watch this video and do not make that mistake.